Hello my lovelies, welcome back. I just realised I filmed a video and then realised that I'd had a little haul from different places over the last week. So I thought I'd show you what I'd got. Mainly drugstore, but there are three items from Neil's Yard Remedies. Um, and it's funny really, the night before I bought these I was talking to my friend Oliver who lives and works in York and he works for Neil's Yard Remedies in York. So if you go go say hello to Oliver, he's the assistant manager there and we often talk about products and we had quite a laugh because we were talking about cleansing and sponges and he was trying to get me to work, remember the name of this great sponge and I kept calling it the Kojak sponge so we were, we were chuckling about that and I said I always feel so guilty when I go and buy from Neil's Yard Remedies and I don't buy from him and he was oh it's fine it can't be helped and then I went in the next day and bought things so yes I always feel a bit guilty but hello Oliver if you ever go to York as I say please go in please say hello all the staff there are just fantastic and it's the quirkiest cute cutest little shop it's just beautiful and it's literally a few steps away from York Minster um, it's just down one of the wonderful streets in York so yeah if you're there do call in and say hello and they always have a really nice cup of tea brewing which is lovely they have their herbal teas and the shop smells lovely so go have a cup of tea with all right we'll do Neil's Yard first and then we'll get on with the drugstore so the first thing, um, this is the Citrus Hand Wash. They do two other fragrances, but I absolutely love this. Um, it does cleanse your hands and freshen, and I have one in my kitchen. I just think it's lovely, and it's a zesty hand wash, and it really makes your hands smell gorgeous. And the packaging is just, as you know, beautiful. Love it. Next, a repurchase, and it's the Frankincense Hydrating Facial Mist. You've seen me feature this a few times on my skincare. I think this is about my third repurchase. I love it. It's so refreshing. It has a gorgeous peppery smell to it, and it just leaves my skin so beautifully balanced and refreshed. And then, while I was there, I do still have half of one left, and I went for the Wild Rose Beauty Balm, and they still had some of the 10th Anniversary Editions left. It's the most beautiful balm. You really have to work this into your skin, which I see as a positive. You really give your skin a facial. It's just beautiful, and it smells divine. Now, I'm not a rose person, but this, because it's Wild Rose, has quite a depth to it. One of the best cleansers I've ever, ever used. And it lasts for ages. You only need a small amount. Um, generally, I use it as a second cleanse because I really feel it's almost the final thing, the proper facial. Just gorgeous. So those are my three things from Neil's Yard Remedies. I'm over my guilt now about that. And now we're going to look at drugstore. The first thing that caught my eye, and to be fair, it's almost a dupe for the Naked 3 palette. It doesn't look like it, but the colours are just beautiful. And it's from Makeup Academy, and it just has all these beautiful warm pinks and purples and a couple of taupes, and there's a grey in there, of course. And I thought it was just stunning. There's matte shades, satin and metallic beautiful i'm wearing some of the colors now and it is just an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous palette it also comes with a wonderful pencil which has a black eyeliner and then you have a highlighter so you could use the highlighter under your brow bone or you could use it in your eyeliner in your lid um great i just think it's a really really good palette i think it was seven pounds i can't remember seven or eight pounds but just beautiful the shadows are very very smooth um they've not creased so far but i do use an eyelid primer which i do anyway but i really really like that and they seem to be updating their palettes makeup academy so yes i, I prefer these to their other ones that they used to do next basically i just thought this was the most gorgeous color i've not even taken the cellophane off but again it's from makeup academy and it's their whipped velvet blush and this is in chichi um, smooth and soft apparently and glide this blush over cheeks for light and instant colour. Um, I just thought that was gorgeous. <laughs> it often happens, it's a colour that catches my eye and I just, yeah. Um, I think the blushes were three pounds. I think it was three which is just amazing. Four grams. Um, yeah, it does have mineral oil in it. I've just seen that, but this is makeup, it's not skincare. Mineral oil, there's talc in there, there's lots of variations of talc and chemicals and 
whatnots, just to let you know. But I just thought that was beautiful, gorgeous, summer colour, perfect. And next, lip products. Not that any of us need any more lip products, but they're all out there tempting us. Um, Maybelline have this new lip elixir out, colour elixir, lip lacquer. And this is the shade, trying to find a shade. Hello. <laughs> I love to stop. You can go on camera if you want. Right, I was saying about lips. Sorry about that. Craig came into the office. He wouldn't appear on camera. Coward. Um, so my apologies, I just had to break off. So we're talking lips and it's the Maybelline Colour Elixir Lip Lacquer. And I'm trying to figure out what shade it's in. I've got my contact lenses in, so I can't focus. Signature Scarlet, and I am wearing it. I do like it. Um, I prefer it to the Bourjois Rouge Edition. I love the applicator as well. It's not as harsh or as strong on the lips. Feels nice on the lips, it's not too tacky. And I think the packaging is just divine. I just think that's really, really pretty. So I, I like that. And then Makeup Academy again. I certainly had a, a whiz around there. Again, they've still got the cellophane on, but um, subtle colors. It's the Sweet Sheen Lip Balms. One is in, <coughs> excuse me, Peach Dream. And then the other is Rouge Rumba, um, which I thought were both very, very pretty. But the Peach Dream, I think, is going to be a nice, subtle summer colour on the lips. Again, they're not intense shades. They're subtle shades. I did practice with the testers, but I just haven't taken the cellophane off. So I will do a blog post, I think, about my little drugstore haul as well. And that's it. I just think it's so great sometimes when you wander around and you see these gorgeous things. And the lip balms from Makeup Academy, I think, were £2. When you find something like that that looks good and feels good and you just get a nice colour payback and they cost you £2, I think it's wonderful. Um, and there's some really pretty colours when you take the time to look. I do know that the Makeup Academy... Um, stand in my local super drug it's just one of those rotating stands and i often just walk past it and never look and today i had a little time and i thought now i'm gonna have a proper look and there were so many pretty pretty things on there and lovely nail polishes as well so it's really worth if you have the time i know you know it's tempting to go to the stands that sort of hit you in the face and there's always the rimmel and maybelline but it's often worth having a look on these others as well they have some great price products that really work I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much. Just to reiterate, um, I, I'm not sponsored or getting paid or getting products from Niels the Art Remedies. Um, in case anybody thinks, God, she keeps going on about, oh, if you're going to York, go see Oliver. No, not at all. Just that he's a really good friend and I love him dearly and he works in a lovely shop for a lovely brand. And I would hate for you to miss an opportunity to go in and have some great shopping experience. And York is just one of the most fabulous cities you could ever go to it is beautiful and if you go now you'll see all the gorgeous daffodils that are out around the city walls it is a display to be held it's fantastic so yeah I'm not being paid sponsored bribed or anything I just wouldn't like you to miss the opportunity of meeting my lovely friend so I'll leave it there thank you guys and I'll be back soon with another video bye